Okay. So, the usual four question that we do every time. Talk a bit about you, introduce yourself. Okay, um, well, my name is uh, Jonathan, uh, aka Devilwalk Lundberg, and uh, yeah, I'm the team captain of Fnatic C's GO team, and uh, also the support player um, in-game, though. And uh, yeah, that's basically who I am. Play okay. Counter-Strike. Um, tell us a bit about your day, like you wake up, what you do, what's your life about? Um, well, I usually just wake up, take, grab a cup of coffee, and just sit by the computer. I don't know. Uh, uh, go into websites like Fragbyte, HLTV. Uh, you know, checking all the news posts, comments, etc. And that's basically how I wake up. And uh, then I proceed doing some deathmatch and getting ready for practice. I guess. Okay, I have two questions about that. Um, one is, uh, um, do you read a lot about uh, what's the community is like on HLTV or on Reddit? Like, you follow that a lot? You you watch videos and stuff about? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I uh, I follow like I, I usually check most of the posts on Reddit and okay. I check like matches, uh, comments on matches, and etc. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I follow the scene pretty like regularly, like every match. I usually watch matches if we do not practice. Yeah. As well, so yeah. And just another guy. <laughs> yeah. What about uh that matches? What I mean is um I was talking about this with uh MBK uh like a few days ago and he was telling me that for example, uh, most of the um, Titan team uh wants to play on normal death matches but he wants to play on uh, friendly fire death matches because it's like i don't know it's more more action yeah it's more action yeah and uh, so do you like to play on friendly fire normal death match aim map only where do you usually train well i usually i think i want to start off the day with just headshot only uh, death matches like friendly fire yeah. and uh, then I'll proceed to normal ones because you're easily you're easier to kill yeah. on like normal death match not headshot only you can pretty much dodge a lot of deaths on headshot only yeah. so I want to try to do so like headshot only but on normal death match so I die quicker okay. I guess okay cool and do you play any other games um well, I usually want to play like single player games because I don't want to get hung up on like competitiveness of like yeah. Dota and <laughs> LOL and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I usually try to play as many single player games as I can, uh, like RPG, RPG stuff. Yeah. Okay. So Other than that, it's like Hearthstone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys never played like with. Uh with your fanatic uh, League of Legends team, which is a very successful team right now? Uh, I haven't, uh, actually. I've met, like, uh, I've talked a lot with uh, Martin Reckles. Okay. Uh, Reckless. Yeah. Uh, but um, I haven't played with him. I've, I've just chat with him. So. Okay. Um, uh, do you guys pl uh, practice mostly during, like, uh, the tournaments? Because, for example, uh, Ninjas in Pyjamas uh, practice uh, with online tournaments, basically, because they don't have time to practice outside of that. Or you guys actually, you have like two hours per day just for yourself and then you go to practice against uh, online teams or... Oh. Well, it's, I mean, it's individually based. I mean, we don't have any forced hours for ourselves. It's basically you have to... Be sure to keep yourself informed, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, it's team practice. So it's much more individualized. So if if you feel like you're, um, you need to practice your aim, then you should do it. And okay. uh, it's your responsibility, I guess. Okay. And, yeah. And 
where do you see Fnatic in the next major tournament? Like, what do you see for the future of Fnatic? Because you you started great on Dreamhack Winter, and then uh, sometimes uh, you're against some teams that uh, you have like a sloppy results, and then you're back up. Some most of the time that I watch you, uh, it's like okay. This game is for sure done. They won't make it to, I don't know, the quarterfinals, the finals, and stuff like that. But then suddenly you start, I don't know, some, something clicked in your team, and you start like winning and winning and winning and snowballing. So where do you see the, the future is going for Fnatic? Do you feel like... Um, I feel we have a lot to, to grow. Uh, I feel we are, we are experienced in one way, but we're still very, very new. Uh, uh, like we we don't have the experience of example NIP who has been playing uh, you know tournaments in 1.6 and all that uh, but um, I, I see bright future I mean um, I think we have a lot to develop and we still have pretty good results even though we still have that you know gap of development we still need to reach so I can see us, uh, you know, being top three in every event, um, okay. but it, but it's gonna be hard. I mean, every team is developing so fast and so good right now. Yeah. That basically, everyone can beat everyone. So, on a good on a good day, we'll definitely be top three on every event. But yeah, you have to make sure that happens as well. So yeah, also we saw like Valve finally after like two games made, they they stepped up and they start to put money in the tournaments. So a lot of team that before like because I have all the friend list of you guys. So I saw like um, a few times back when Titan were very games for example. Uh, I was always seeing like Titan and Ninjas in Pajamas, Fnatic and some others like always on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but other teams, they were like playing other games and I don't know, doing other stuff. Now that actually the CSGO community is growing and growing and yeah. the tournament's money is always bigger, I see that everyone is playing Counter-Strike. <laughs> like, yeah. You guys are like the one of the most innovative team right now, in my opinion, like you and Titan. Um, you always come out with new strategy, cool tricks, cool smokes, flash, retake, and stuff like that. And you find new things on maps like Dust Two that are out for like ten years or so. Um, how how do you guys do that? Like you practice all five together in thinking about those stuff, or you're just uh, there's one guy that came out with all those kind of things. Um. It's kind of split, but I think most of the work is done by Pronax, um, mm -hmm. the in-game leader. But uh, like sm small moves, and uh, you know, uh, there's so much individually based thinking about it as well. I mean, um, small moves like on sites and um, and stuff like that. For example, when Flash or Schneider holds together, they'll do some moves, and uh, I think they just come up with them on the spot uh, a lot, especially yeah. Flasha is very, very, yeah, it's very good at that. And uh, But uh, tactics-wise, it's basically only Pronax who puts in all the hours. And mm -hmm. I, I, I talk with him, but uh, Pronax is the brain behind all of it, I yeah. guess. Okay. Because, in fact, I've, like, I think on my YouTube channel, I've studied uh, the your uh, B take on Inferno, where you smoke everything, you plant a bomb, and you leave the site. And it was, yeah. like, really cool. I was like, wow, <laughs> no one ever seen that. <laughs> and, yeah, so that's why I have the question. And yep. um, what do you think about batting in CSGO? Uh, like, I don't know, do you... Well, first of all, what do you think about it? Like, uh, well, it's it, it's good because um, you know there's good aspects and there's bad aspects. Yeah. Uh, the good ones are that like um, some games get a lot more interesting just because uh, of the betting. Yeah. So just some random online match could have like 40k viewers. Uh, yeah. 
Like we saw the other uh, day, the bot versus bot uh, thing. There was yeah, a CSGO yeah. lounge. Yeah. All the people was watching like only 20K. for items. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, stuff like that get more exciting. But um, So that's good. But the ne negative part is, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, about betting right now. It's like every match, it's basically you watch it because you bet on it. And yeah. um, uh, when people lose their skins, they get mad. They start flaming players, yeah. you know, and uh, that's the negative part. But I don't know. I think um, I think betting is good, but I might uh, myself, if I could control things, I would set a limit, like an age limit on betting. But mm. I guess that's just me. Like, people with maturity to actually handle uh, their own decisions and not blame everyone else i guess yeah i believe it's just like uh, it will be like this i believe for a few months and then it will settle because it's like in every sport you can bet uh yeah. on esports we are just n not used to so we are reacting in a different way like if i lose all my skins i'm like oh fuck but uh, there are some people, yeah, that gets really mad and invested. And yeah. They were like uh, the dosing and stuff like that, which is really silly because it doesn't solve anything. <laughs> but still, no. um, yeah, I believe uh, we just have to wait. It's not uh, the age limit can be a good thing. The problem is to actually uh, like control the age of the people oh yeah yeah on internet you can say whatever you want basically but yeah, uh, yeah that's pretty much it so uh yeah about the community the the flame and stuff um since the, 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 this question is not directly about you so does jw suffer a lot from all the bashing and insults that he gets from uh, his aspect let's see Let, let's see uh well i mean um obviously there's there's a lot of of bashing and insults towards him yeah. um i think he's handled it uh, pretty well um i mean he he's got a lot thicker skin now yeah. than he did i guess i guess that's natural but um i mean people uh, bash him and he he even answers messages and you know try to explain uh you know what happened is usually because of the Bucharest video yeah. um, so I mean I think he's handled it with maturity and and still try to explain to people what what happened and uh, why he reacted the way he did and yeah stuff I mean, like that so what, what most of the people doesn't get in this like in this world in the sea sports world is that uh, a lot of us are just kids like yeah. The, are just kids that enjoy to play a game and suddenly uh, there are companies that start throwing money at them so <laughs> they are not professional they have to like you said they have to get their ticker screen uh, skins so yeah it's just it, it's normal that sometimes they react in some ways so i mean it's a it's a learning experience and um yeah. i mean we had been in Fnatic for I've been a professional gamer for like four months, um, yeah. so we obviously haven't hadn't learned all all the aspects of being a professional gamer. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, we've learned a lot just from that experience as well. So um, uh, I think I think um, JW's uh, become a lot more mature. Yeah, uh, and also like. Um... It's a normal thing. Like when I saw that, even though I'm in ninjas in pajamas, I was like, okay, it's cool. I, I would have done the same thing. Like uh, I see myself uh, sometimes even in matchmaking and someone starts to do some weird shit or talk shit in the other team when I win, I will fucking insult you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like, it's a normal thing. It's sports. And that's how it works. And yeah, a lot of people that uh, bashed him for uh, Bucharest, for example. They didn't like to watch other uh, other esports because 
if you go like to a Call of Duty land, it's worse. <laughs> like a lot uh, worse. Yeah. yeah. I've I've seen videos. It's it's pretty hectic. It, yeah, and so it's normal the bashing. Like they, they they don't need to to put all those drama in it. But the drama is cool. I mean, it brings more people into the community, so it's fine. <laughs> Who's the one in the team that keeps everything, uh, everyone cool, like uh, calm everyone? It's Karn. I think it's um, Karn is a big part of it. Yeah, uh, I think everyone helps uh, when they are not uh, like not cool. I guess uh, everyone wants to help to keep everyone cool. But I usually do it as well a lot. But I think everyone helps to keep everyone cool and collected. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a team effort, but uh, Karn is a big part of it. I was saying um, a thing that always amazed me about you and other teams is uh, that uh, on lands, when you actually die, like you're playing and you die or you miss a shot or something, you're like steady, you're cool, you're not talking at all. And that's the thing that most of the people said to me, like, oh, yeah, they're professional, it's normal. No, it's not. Like, sometimes when you miss a shot or someone does some weird flick shot behind the smoke or something, you have to yell something. How, how do you stay cool in those moments? Does it happen that someone starts raging and you have to calm it down? Uh, I mean, it happens sometimes, but usually when the games are already like super hard or difficult and when you're in a like they're leading a lot and you just get locked then you can rage a bit but mm -hmm. uh usually i think about it this way that um i mean raging even if i'm mad i have to think about the bigger picture yeah. and uh if, if if my teammates get like um like some negative attribute by me yelling or anything then it's not worth it you know yeah. So I'll, I'll 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 keep it like in here, in myself, um, just for the for the team's sake, so we we can focus on the game and still you know okay. win. I think I think that's about it. It's so important to win the game, so you'll keep it calm. Yeah. Okay. So does Khan participate in the practice training schedule? Because for example, Heaton is not allowed to participate in the Ninjas in Pyjamas training section and uh, they want to be 100 percent alone so do you guys have that need as well or he he works with you uh he works with us um he's not that often uh i think okay. we want him more than uh he's available uh because he's a, he, he has a lot of of good tips and uh yeah. he's helpful and experienced so why not use that um yeah. but uh, he he helps us uh, sometimes, uh, but usually he doesn't have the time or uh, he's working. And um, yeah. but yeah, he he participates and just uh, writes stuff down that we lack and what we're good at and stuff yeah. like that. He usually doesn't talk when we practice. He just yeah uh, uh, looks at it. <laughs> yeah yeah. And do you think that sometimes Karen want to get back to play again? Like he he's missing it. Yeah, I think so, but I think he also loves his job so much that yeah. he kind of weighs it in a scale, and uh, you know, the job he has, he loves so much that he he doesn't want to sacrifice that. So, but <laughs> okay. I think he 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 loves gaming, and obviously had a ch chance uh, later on, and still be able to do his job, he would definitely do it. But uh, yeah, okay, you know. So, final question, um, do you have any shout out uh, where people can find you, usual stuff? Uh, yeah, um, I, you know, I want to thank my sponsors, you know, for making my life possible. Yeah. The fans, obviously, uh, checking materials at YouTube, uh, you know, watching the games, betting skins, whatever, you know, uh, thank you guys. And... Uh, Karn, I always want to give him a special shout out because he's so awesome. And uh, you can find us on like Fnatic.com, Facebook, uh, Devil Walk Sees oh, Go. Yeah, I will Fnatic Devil Walk. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I will put all the the infos on the description. And uh, thank you for having this interview. I guess. Yeah, thank you to allow me to do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. Hey everybody, it's Cutie Bear again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. I put a lot of effort in it. Uh, you will see some stuttering sometimes or just some editing mistakes, but uh, actually they are not. I've, I had to edit the video because we had some internet problems uh, during the interview, so I had to cut some parts. But um, everything is in there, uh, so you can see pretty much everything. Um, Devi Walk says hi, by the way. <laughs> so I, I'm here for that. And uh, guys, just tell me wh who you want to see in the next interviews and um, keep up the the feedbacks just put push, push the like button push the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet comments below the video tell me what you want to see and uh, because that that's what it tells me more you are more uh, i can get people uh, to to work with me so um, i hope you guys had an amazing day and uh, see you guys next time bye